you beautiful top tenors, how are you doing today? Well I hope, or I hope that you're better than the kids we're going to talk about in today's top 10. That's right, I'm Rebecca Felge and today we have the top 10 worst parents part 3. Yes, all of the parts. So Landon and Danny started off this three part bonanza, you can check out the other videos here and here, ooh, and things got you know, a little bit dark. So in part three, I thought I'd take it in a bit of a different direction, I thought I'd make this a picture episode, make it a teeny tiny bit lighter, and then you can see the bad parenting in action for yourselves. So let's do this shall we, whoosh. In at number ten, we have the parents who draped their baby in a huge snake, that's right, in a snake. You know what doesn't mix well with babies? Pythons! Hi Peter, meet Python. Oh, wait, yes, Python. Python who thinks that you could be its dinner, it can engulf you whole. So even if this isn't the baby eating type of Python, I still don't think it's a good idea to maybe drape your baby in a snake. It could smother or squeeze it to death. Bad parenting. In at number nine, we have the parents of this, um, Accident? I mean, what kind of parents would dress their kid as a condom for the funsies? Parents of this kid, I guess. They're either suggesting that maybe one of these may have come in handy before this boy popped into the world, or they're teaching him a lesson in safe sex a bit too early on. Either way, with this picture floating around in the world, they've pretty much ruined any chance this kid had of being president or like a respected person ever. In at number eight, we have the parents who duct taped their baby to the wall. So at first I looked at this and thought this is kind of cute, they've also duct taped his cuddly toy next to him, he's not alone in this, but then I saw the toy was a duck and realised they were making an inappropriate visual pun. Duct tape. Get it? I mean it's kind of hilarious, sure, but there are a lot of strangulation issues here, maybe not such good parenting, but maybe this was like a big brother or sister who just didn't like the baby. In at number 7 we have the mother to this future teen mum. So my mum used to dress me and my sister in all kinds of crazy things like matching 80s outfits, or like princesses, it was cute. Do you know what's not appropriate to dress your kid up like? A hooker. We could talk about the mother's tan lines or her neck tattoo, but that doesn't make her a bad parent. Dressing her child up like a sexual object and poking her near a live plug socket however does. In at number 6, we kind of have the flip reversal of the previous picture, yes it's the slutty mum who likes to take selfies with her kid in the room. Awkward. I guess this doesn't actually make her a bad parent, but actually maybe she should be looking after the kid rather than posing in her underwear. Blah. In at number 5, we have this bad dad. Bad dad on the loose, uh oh. So I guess getting your kid on the subway can be awkward, they're kind of like flapping around being a child, so why not sling it on your back, for sure, fine. Maybe don't sit down with the kid still on your back though, all kinds of suffocation and squishing issues, bad dad. In at number 4, the parents who do not know where the toy store is. So never mind slobbering over a rubber giraffe or you know, poking at a teddy, these parents thought they would just let their kid play with a gun twice the size of it. Right in the mouth. While the parents may have found this hilarious, I'm guessing that they will be less amused when their kid starts associating this object with playtime. It gets worse at number 3, we have the parents who put their kid in the microwave. Now this could just be some kind of sick joke, but the baby does not look like it's having fun. Also, it's absolutely no laughing matter, in 2011, Kay Yang of Sacramento, California murdered her baby by cooking her in a microwave for 5 minutes, so this absolutely is not a laughing matter. Narrowly missing the number 1 spot, in at number 2 we have this fine example of parenthood, a pregnant smoking mother. Again, it could have been a really hot day, so she may have had no choice to dress this way in public, her pre-existing son could indeed be a ninja like his t-shirt suggests, and well, you know, a lot of people drink coke, fine. But smoking while you're pregnant and with pictorial evidence out there, this is bad parenting. All kinds of unborn fetal issues. Ok guys, so we have reached that all important moment in our top 10 worst parents part 3. If you thought it couldn't get any worse, it does. In at number 1, we have this neo-Nazi who refuses to give his kid a chance. Nothing like giving your kid a chance to make up their own mind as to who they want to be. This guy has inflicted a symbol of genocide on his child. Fascism just isn't fun. Now their father's t-shirt reads skinhead, but we would remove the s and the n, rearrange the letters a little and add a d and a c in there somewhere. 
somewhere. See what I'm saying? I literally feel sorry for this kid. What chance does he have in the world? So guys, that was our top 10 worst parents part three. I'm sorry it's a little bit depressing, but hopefully some of it was kind of fun and informative. I don't know, do you wanna see a part four or should we stop there? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, what top 10 videos do you want us to make next? We read the comments, so I would love to know what you think. I'm Rebecca Felgate, you are beautiful top tenners. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our fabulous channel, and I will see you next time. Bye.